Hello! Welcome to Snippets, Bits, and Bobs, a channel of weekly videos of eclectic excerpts from classic and contemporary literature, lyrics, and even recipes that I read in a relaxing, soft-spoken ASMR style. Check the description box below to learn more about ASMR. I hope you'll be as excited as I am each week as I share new topics with you. Welcome to our downtime space to block out the noise and chaos and take time to relax and unwind and slow your pace. By the way, can you hear the very light ticking of the clock on the wall? Great. Women hold up half the sky, the saying goes, and International Women's Day, IWD, is March 8, 2021. That day is a chance to celebrate progress for women. The day is not country-specific, but on that day we wear purple as the color of loyalty, constancy, of purpose, it's a color of dignity and self-respect, and to the cause for equality. So this year's theme for International Women's Day is Choose to Challenge. Whether you are a man or a woman, young or old, whatever your religious beliefs, what things do you choose to challenge? Drop a line in the comment section. As for me, I choose to challenge the belief about what older citizens can or cannot accomplish, man or woman. I choose to express this event with poetry by women from South America, East Asia, and North America. Sometimes, you know, speaking the truth is hard. But if you read a poem that is someone else's truth, it allows you to say what is on your mind without any fear of judgment. They can transport you to another reality and open your eyes, reminding you that the world is a big, interesting place full of opportunities and adventure. Born in 1889, and as the first Latin American to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1945, Chilean poet and author Gabriela Mistral's poetry focuses on the themes of Latin American identity, nature, love, art, betrayal, recovery, and travel. So admired, her likeness appears on the 5,000 peso banknote of Chile. Writing poetry for her, she says, I write poetry because I can't disobey the impulse. It would be like blocking a spring that surges up in my throat. For a long time, I've been the servant of the song that comes, that appears, and can't be buried away. How powerful. Her poem here is titled The Sunflower, which was translated from Spanish to English. I know for certain it is he, the one up above, but the little plants don't see him, and they believe it is I who warms them and licks them all afternoon. I whose stem is hard, as you can see. I never answer them, not even with a nod of the head. It's no deception on my part, but I let them deceive themselves, because they will never reach him, who would burn them in any case. As for me, on the other hand, they hardly even reach my feet. It's a form of great servitude to be the sun. This turning towards the east and towards the sunset, constantly attending to his position, tires my neck. 
which is not so limber. And they, the little grasses, they continue to sing down there. The sun has four hundred golden leaves, a great dark disk at the center, and a sovereign stem. I hear them, but I often but I offer them no confirming sign with my head. I keep quiet. But as for me, I know for certain it is he, the one up above. Marked annually on March 8th, International Women's Day, or IWD, is one of the most important days of the year, too. Celebrate women's achievements. Raise awareness about women's equality. Lobby for accelerated gender parity and fundraise for female-focused charities. As one American First Lady famously said, Women's rights are human rights. Now, on to our next poem and poet. I also urge you to listen to this video to the end. It's uh, very powerful poems from these women. The next poet is uh, from East Asia. Women poets from India broke the mold and blazed a trail, leaving an indelible mark on Indian literature. Nandi Sahu, born in 1973, is an acclaimed Indian poet, writer, and critic. And her works appear in India and abroad. She has several English books and poems to her name and is also an associate professor of English at the Indira Gandhi National Open University in New Delhi. She is the recipient of two gold medals in English literature. Her poem here is called My Home. The whimsical moon shot past me like an arrow in a flock I saw it as a mirror revealing myself to me. My home. I love sitting here in the windy balcony and flying in the night sky. This is my home in Delhi, Delhi away from Delhi, my dream home, the home of my long cherished desires at the foot of the hillock flowers all over. Here I am given more than I could ask for. Peacocks dance to the tune of the wild rain. Camels graze. Birds of hue sing lullabies to my tired soul. My little son plays around, runs like the wind on the sloppy road the country road, a feast to my eyes. Lying on my bed, I watch him with flower-like kids flying audible kisses from there at me. I hum a tune to myself in my velvety voice, keeping a book close to the chest. The pretty dappled trouts with joyful haste move in the aquarium like the brook. This was a present to my son on his award of a medal. He wants trouts, for he loves to see them moving patient for not being noisy. I arrange my home with a careless care. Night long in winter I hear the silence silently hear in full moon nights, the nightingales sing frantically. In summer, the passionate rain with its vibrations tinkle my inner self here. I discover a newer world, close to nature, close to a power unknown. 
and rediscover myself. I cry no more. My world is wet enough. Here my heart is grilled with green moss. I have transfigured myself. The base of my harmony is my loneliness. I have just started to count life beneath my fingertips. Another poem is on the way, but first, if you are enjoying this video or this channel, thank you. And please comment on whether this is the type of programming you like or other types. And this year, my goal is to gain at least 500 subscribers. Yes, 500. And I know you can help me get there. So you see, YouTube wants to see channel creators like me increase their presence and engagement by many viewers subscribing, liking, or commenting. Also, I am aware that uh, some viewers don't wish to have their private names in the comment section and I certainly can understand that so I suggest that maybe you think about creating another uh, gmail address and use a favorite nickname or fantasy name if you wish whatever you'd like but thank you and now let's move on to a Canadian poet And this poet is from North America. Lisa Robertson was born in Toronto in 1961 and studied at Simon Fraser University. Uh, she has written works that explore literary forms such as the pastoral, epic, and weather forecast. Robertson has written many books of poetry um, and one of them is, is a collection of poems from her book, uh, The Weather, published in 2001, and it was written during her fellowship at Cambridge University. The following poem came from this publication, The Weather, and the title of this poem is Sometimes I Want a Corset Like. Sometimes I want a corset like to harden me or garnish. I think of this stricture, rain, language, building, as a corset, an outer ideal mold. I feel the ideal molding me, the ideal, is now my surface just so very perfect. I know where to buy it, and I take it off. I take it off. If all things fall, and we are just emperors, serious and accurate and fugitive in such dormant lines of gorgeousness, the day is a locksmith. Dew lies long on the grass. And I, a rustic, ask, What is a surface? And respond, Only omniscience, the crumpling face, as the domestic emotions elucidate themselves. A sea of mist exists so strangely, side by side. The potent mold of anarchy and scorn this was such an interesting project to share with you remember to comment on what you choose to challenge right now tomorrow for international women's day so don't forget to see this special day iwd as a day to help forge an inclusion an inclusive world beyond just March 8, 2021. For more information on International Women's Day, go to their website, www.internationalwomensday.com.
welcome new subscribers. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, share your comments below about this video and tell me what topics you want to hear in future videos. If you'd like to see recent videos of snippets, bits and bobs, see the links in the description. Also, click on the bell icon on your right to get the latest videos when they are uploaded, usually each week on Tuesdays. Can't wait to share next week's theme with you. So, have a good week and see you soon at Snippets, Bits and Bobs. Bye-bye.